There are other models. A prop man who worked briefly with Mix in 1926 was John Wayne. When I was a boy, there were two pretty well-known characters in motion pictures. And Tom Mix was a flamboyant type and wore the rodeo clothes. But Harry Carey always wore a good hat, good pair of boots, and what he wore in between didn't matter too much. And, and he had a, a style of acting that has now become the way of uh, acting in our, in our business. Like William S. Hart, Harry Carey was one of the few cowboy actors without experience of the range. You see, he was not a typical cowboy in any sense of the word. He was a romantic, romantically, he was in love with the West. Absolutely in love with the West and with the pioneer spirit. That's why we had the ranch and, uh, and uh, the whole business. He just loved being a cowboy. And he was a New York guy. Oh, we're terribly Western. Oh, brother, were we Western. Terry helped a young assistant named John Ford become a director. Ford was another Easterner who loved the West. Together, they made a series of romantic but accurate Westerns. Carey starred in Ford's straight shooting. It had the kind of encounter that would soon feature in so many Westerns. tried to be kind of natural, act natural. There's no way of being natural on the screen. You lose the, you lose the tempo. You, know, you have to keep things going and try and get your personality through, which is what Harry could do. Uh, I loved him because uh, I'd known him for years, and I was a young man, and he was an older man. And I'd had a, a lifetime of association with Harry and Ollie. And when Harry died, naturally, I was there. And, uh, and I'd known and loved the both of them. In John Ford's The Searchers of 1956, in which Olive Carey appeared, John Wayne paid his own tribute. At the end of the picture, when I brought back uh, little Natalie Woods, who was a baby then, and uh, turned her over to these folks. Jack had a scene that just included a, a dark doorway. And I was outside, and they came in and came by the camera and turned around. Now, it had been a heartwarming scene when we brought this little girl back. And Harry hadn't been dead very long. And I loved Dolly, and it was emotional. And as they went in the door in the dark and got out of sight and it was just me in the door the wind blowing i thought of harry carey and he had a stance which was something to that effect where he put his left hand on his right arm 
and he did this uh, incessantly in pictures. Well, when the, they took the little girl past the camera and there was just a dark frame, Ollie looked around at me. And I just took the pose, and she, the tears poured out of her eyes. And uh, it was a lovely, dramatic moment in my life, and I'm sure in hers.